Okay, so here is the demonstration of our environmental variable configuration in the system properties of your windows. So our Java and of course the ones we have downloaded this uh, Android folder here and the Gradle are the ones we are going to input on that environment variables. To do that, all you have to do is to click the start menu and immediately type explorer. Explorer. Take a look. Explorer. Okay, so and then in the start menu, uh, all you have to do is to click the file explorer. Okay, just click that and the file explorer will appear. So again, remember, we're going to put the location, the files in from, from this folder, the Android and that Gradle and the Java. So the question is, where is this Java located? So when you click this PC and you go to the Drive C, for example, here, Drive C, there are two folders in which the Java installer is hiding. So it hides in the program files and it hides to the program files x86. So, so when you enter here, you will see there, there is a Java. Okay, so there is the, the Java there. And, uh, okay, so there's no Java here, so you can, but however, there are instances that this thing, this Java, sometimes installed in the program files 86. So you have to take a look carefully. So if not, then you, you don't need to put that in our um, uh, environment uh, variables, okay? So getting back here on our file explorer, so what we're going to do here now is to open our system properties, the advanced properties of our system. So you go now to this PC, okay, click that, right click, okay, right click, and then click properties. So once you enter in the properties window, so let's uh, unmagnify. So once you click the uh, properties window, there are plenty of links there that shows you in the, in the left side. So the thing that you're going to click here is the advanced system uh, settings. Okay, so here, advanced system settings. So we click that and what will happen is the file, the system properties window will appear. So we try now to minimize this and also minimize this. And now we're going to click this environment variables. Okay, this button here, located in the advance. Okay, this one, click. And here, uh, you're going to go to the path, uh, this one, and also this one here. Okay, so now let's put those items. I think first is here on this uh, part here, okay, over here. So we click edit and then here we are going to click new and you can see there is a blank appears there in that location. And now we are going to click the browse. The first item we are going to add there is the Java, okay. And then the Java is located in this PC's drive C. Okay, and then program files. And then go to the Java. And then go to the JDK, uh, the, this one here, not the JRE, the JDK. Okay. And then click this bin. And that's it. And then click OK. So now the Java is there and now the next thing we should go now is to click new again and then browse and this time we will go to our desktop okay so the folder which is this Android we're going to add uh, all the files in this location so you click the Android we we'll first add the Gradle this Gradle here and then once we click this uh, gradle we go to the bin and then after the bin you click okay 
So that's the Android. Okay. So click new again. And then browse. And then go to this PC. Ah, sorry, sorry. Go to this desktop, sorry. And go again to the Android. Okay, and this time we will go to the SDK and inside the SDK we go to the platform tools. Okay, so this platform tools, we don't need to click anything here, just remain it as platform tools and then click OK. Okay, so and then click new again, click browse, browse, desktop PC that is Android SDK and this time we go to add, we will going to add the tools and inside the tools there is a bin okay bin and then click OK so now we have added the tools and the tools uh, platform tools and lastly we are going to add our Gradle the old Gradle 6.4 so you click again new and then click browse and then uh, go to the uh, Gradle, this one here, and there is the bin over there, and then click OK. So that's it. So you successfully added the Java and the Android files, the downloaded Android files and the Gradle. So the next thing you should do now is to click the OK button. OK, so it's already here. OK, so let's check over there is yeah it is added so if you wish we can also add it here in your own profile this is because the system variables but this one is my own profile so you can click edit it too here and then uh, if you like click new and then browse let's first add our Java located in drive C program files and then Java there you go JDK and then the bin okay then click OK and then new again browse and then uh, go to this desktop actually you can immediately click here because this one is the part of the desktop Gradle and then the bin and then OK so new again browse go to Android go to SDK this time click this platform tools this time there is no bin here so you better click OK and then click new again and then browse and then Android again SDK tools and bin okay there is a bin in the tools okay and then finally you click browse and then click the Gradle and then the bin and then OK Okay, so that's it it's there already click OK and then click OK so that's it so that is how you add the environment variables on uh, uh, the ones what we have downloaded so it means uh, the meaning of this why we downloaded these files okay and why we put that on the system uh, environment variables the, even the Java is for us when we create an APK file our finished product file it will run uh, most likely reliably very likely it will run reliably and it will not have errors when compiling okay so that's the reason and there are many other uses besides that when we are commanding a Android transfer from our Ionic to the Android studio so those files have roles to do All right, this concludes our presentation of the installation of Ionic and Angular. I hope you will be successful on doing all of these instructions. Uh, however, you can, uh, you can uh, get back to the ones that you don't understand and also get back also to our manual. Uh, if you can't see the details of this installation, you will see that in our PDF document. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, you can you are free to send me a message in our private chat or in our group chat. And I will be very happy to assist 
all of your concerns. All right. So thank you very much, my students. God bless you all and goodbye.